Hey everybody, uh, we're going to be talking about doing a dual PC setup capture with the Elgato HD60S while also playing at 1440p 144Hz on your main gaming monitor. Alright, so let's just jump right into this. First of all, on our gaming PC, we're going to take a cable that supports the resolution out to the gaming monitor. You're going to have to need this in order for the monitor to display the resolution and the frame rate at which you like to play. Second, we're going to take a second cable, usually HDMI because this is HDMI in. We're going to go from the gaming PC into the Elgato HD60S. We're not doing a pass-through, so that's irrelevant for this dual PC setup. Uh, this, going back to the capture PC, is USB 3.0, and we got a display cable out to the capture monitor so that you can see what we're doing. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the Windows display settings. In Windows, the Elgato is going to be viewed as a second monitor. We're going to go down here to our main monitor, and we're going to hit duplicate these displays. Usually your gaming monitor is going to be your main monitor, so what that's going to do is it's going to take the 2560 by 1440, duplicate it down to 1920 by 1080 for your Elgato, and that's the visual component of the capture. For the audio portion of the capture, we're going to need voice meter. You can choose any flavor that you want. I use potato because it's got a lot more inputs. One of the hardware outs that we're going to take is we're going to say... The Elgato 2 with the high definition audio, that's going to be the audio out for that. Now where I have this line in, this is a physical cable. Uh, it's a 3.5 millimeter jack. This goes from the green audio port to the blue. So it goes from uh, headset right out to line in. And what we're doing is we are taking this line in and we're sending it to channels A1 and A2. A1 is my headphones that I'm listening to, my audio device, and A2 is my Elgato. If we go over here to the sound portion of the control panel, we will see that the playback of the line in device is the default device. You'll need this because all the system sounds are going to be basically sent down this audio device. We're going to loop it back into the computer and then through voice meter we're going to port it out to Elgato and to our headphones at the same time. You could do this with a physical audio mixer, it doesn't really matter, uh, but that's just how I got this set up on voice meter. Okay. Finally, what you need to do is you need to go into the NVIDIA control panel. Whenever you plug in your Elgato the first time, NVIDIA is going to probably freak out and you're going to go to the change resolution portion of your monitor, which is my Dell. You're going to set it back to its native resolution and you're going to set it back to its native refresh rate. You'll notice right here in the NVIDIA control panel that the Elgato cannot be uh, modified and that's because in the Windows display component we are duplicating the display. All right, so hope that was pretty quick for you all uh, for the dual PC setup for capturing on that. And I just, I have it in Streamlabs. What you do for Streamlabs to capture it, it's not going to show up on my on my gaming PC because uh, the Elgato is on my capture PC. But what you do is you just hit plus, you go to video capture device, add source. Uh, you can pick your Elgato. If it's not in here, do add new source instead. You know, name it Elgato. I'll just call it number two. And your device will be right in here. It'll say Elgato HD60S. You pick that. And then right down here, when you put it in, the audio mixer is going to come in. So it's going to capture all of the audio on this system using line in. All right. Any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Going to try and keep this video pretty short. All right. Have a great day.